Hi everyone, uh, welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this anime style speed line in After Earth. So, let's start with a new composition. I will name this map because this will be our map. And I'm going with full HD resolution 24 frames per second and let's give it half because it will render faster. And duration, let's give 10 seconds. I'm going with black background, hit OK. Now let's create a new solid, right click new solid. And here I will name this fractal noise. Hit OK. Now go to windows, effect and preset and search for fractal noise. Let's double click and here I will uh, set contrast to 1500 and brightness to maybe let's see minus 50 go to transform and untick this uniform scaling so we can uh, stretch this up like this using scale width I will go something like that and let's use the scale height to something like this okay perfect now make sure you are in the uh, zero second and create a keyframe for the offset turbulence now go to 10 second forward let's drag it up maybe around 10,000 something like this as you can see we have a simple factor noise animation now go to evolution uh, hold alternate keyboard and click this stopwatch icon this will open our uh, expression properties let's type time multiple by 2000 this will increase the speed of the factor noise like that That's it for the uh, map. Now let's go to project panel and drag this map into a new comp like that. Now let's rename this to speed lines. Now go to effect and preset and search for VC color vibrance. This is a video copilot free uh, plugin. I will put link in the description. You guys can download it and install it. This will uh, work really well with the uh, tractor noise. So I recommend gu you guys to download it and use it. It's free. So let's set the colors to something like bluish or red. I like red one. So let's stick with the red one. And you can uh, Play with the values of vibrance and press of luminance as you can see. Let's go with the blue, bluish color for now. You can also change the brightness and gamma. Like that. Now you can set whatever color you want. Make sure you uh, select this fill empty BG. It will uh, add a background for the effect. Now go to effect and preset and search for CC force motion blur. This will uh, increase your render time, but it will add a nice motion blur. If you guys don't want that, uh, just untick this. But for this effect, I will enable it. Now let's add a uh, CC power pin. Using this effect, you can uh, distort this image whatever angle you want. 
like that okay as you can see you can just play with the perspective if you want lower value you can reduce it if you want higher value you can increase it to 100 that's how uh, easy it is to uh, create something like this in after i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial also thank thanks for the all the patreon supporters without you guys uh, this won't be possible to create and thank you so much and i wish you guys in the next one have a great day